Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I brought a vintage lens and it's changed my perspective on filming and why I think every filmmaker should buy a vintage lens too. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Recently I made a new purchase, the Helix. 44 if i'm not mistaken so yeah 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 the helix 44 it was one of the best lenses i've ever brought as a first-time filmmaker and on the theme of being a first-time filmmaker these vintage lenses are a lot cheaper than other lenses and yes i have made a video recently of me unboxing this lens but this is me going more in depth about the quality of this lens and actual clips of film what I've done of testing so I can show you a lot my personal experience and feedback on this lens so as you see in the clip it has loads of like flare and light glaze off it and it's a very over the top and extra and doing research into this lens I found out that it was a manufacturing fault and it didn't come like that originally but apparently it was so good that the manufacturers never looked to change that and if I am wrong with that fact, please let me know. And if you see with the um, boba, I think it's called a boba. I'm sorry for the wrong pronunciation there. I'm not about boba tea. <laughs> I'm on about the reflective patterns on the lens. It's very hexa hexagonal. Like if you look at the reflections of the light, that shape is very prominent throughout. throughout. And there's also circle ones, but it's very prominent with the hexagonal shape. Sorry for stumbling over that word. That word is very tongue twister like. And if you see the quality of this lens, like, there's so much character inside of the stuff that a normal new glass lens wouldn't have. And I'm just a massive fan of the whole look, especially like I said in my last video, that I'm a very edgy type of filmer. So this extra look it gives at this rawness it's very useful and yeah so i was just a big fan of this lens and i thought i should let everyone know my personal experiences on this lens and why i believe people should start getting into vintage lenses and looking into them more now i'm not saying they can do every job but some jobs they do very very well those specific jobs they blow out the water uh, my personal opinion this lens is, is absolutely amazing all the features and the roughness of it it suits me so I have no problem with it but a bit of a disclaimer here before I move into the next section the clips I will be showing you is on my new short film Inside Out and I'm going to show you guys a couple clips of the film and tell me what you think self-acceptance is the most important thing I learned writing this Acceptance your true nature and your true feelings. Don't fight to change, just accept your life, and that's the start of change. But it's too late for me, but I've accepted it with joy, not sadness. No, never sadness. You never know when something could just be the final straw for someone, the thing that just makes all the dominoes collapse. This lens, the helix. It has such a raw and natural colour to it. There is a bit of colour grading on it. But the sharpness, but the roughness around the edges. And if you look at the back there, you can see the circle on the back of the light. And even in this shot, you look at the bottom of the frame. It just adds that extra touch, which a, a new glass lens wouldn't. And that light reflecting as a rainbow, once again, I try to take the same shot with my new lens, the glass lens, and it wasn't there. So... It's just all this little stuff that the roughness, the imperfection makes it perfection. If you get what I mean, like stuff that you just don't get in brand new stuff. And even here, you have per perfectly circled light reflecting off here, which I absolutely love. Now you might be saying, does this not come with every lens? No, some lenses are so crisp and refined, it doesn't have this effect anymore. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a short one. It was just giving up a follow on from the last video, which I'll also link at the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, 
please like subscribe and see you in the next video